Welcome to the Golden State Media Concepts Life and Happiness Podcast, the show that takes you on a journey of exploration. We'll discuss tried and true methods alongside the latest trends of how to best live your life to its fullest and happiest. From psychology to meditation, science to self-help books, the GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast will help you to discover what makes you happy and how you can live life being the best you possible. Happiness Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Alyssa Joe. So, today I thought that I would talk about something that I needed, personally, um, and it was a little bit of motivation. I'm going to talk to you about how to become motivated, how to stay motivated, kind of different forms of motivation, and you know, motivation, it comes and goes. It's not the most consistent thing. And lately, I feel like I just needed an extra push of motivation. Um, Usually, I'm pretty motivated, driven, excited. Um, But I had a week off of school and my life for a little bit. And sometimes when you have some time off, it just kind of puts you back into the mindset of like, ah, sleep is nice. Relaxing is nice. And it kind of just can stunt your drive a little bit and just like make you put your put you in a different kind of mindset and so I've been kind of working these past few days to really get back to motivated get back to my regular self and I feel like I am there and I am ready (laughs) so that's why I want to talk to you today about motivation um it is something that we all crave I believe I think it's something that we you know When we see someone that is just, like, genuinely motivated, like, how uplifting is that? Like, it is so refreshing to see somebody that's like, I'm going to go get it, and I'm going to do it, and it's going to be so good, and, like, I'm just going to work, 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 like, nonstop until I, like, get to where I want to be with, of course, appropriate breaks in between of all that work, work, work. But, like, I'm just saying, like, seeing someone motivated, I think, is the most, like, happy feeling on the inside like for me I just like I see someone that's driven ambitious motivated like has all this drive in life and like it makes me feel good inside because I'm like I'm so happy for you (laughs) like you like I think motivation can really cue our happiness like I think it can really have a lot to do with just how we're feeling inside how we're taking life how you know we're going after everything because we need motivation to get out of bed in the morning that is something that we all do every single day that I find is underappreciated because we get out of bed most mornings I should say most mornings we get out of bed most mornings we wake up we do our thing we go to work we go to school you know if you have kids you feed your family you do your thing you go through your entire day and it all started with you getting out of your cozy comfy warm bed every single day and like that right there can take a lot of motivation for some people but having that motivation to not just get out of your bed but to actually make something of your day and make something of yourself and go for all that progress and go for your drive go for your goals and just go after what you want like that motivation is that push it's what gets you there it's what gets you up in the morning It's what gets you to keep going throughout the day it's not that coffee that you're waiting for it might part you might be motivated to get up and grab that coffee but it is the motivation inside of you that keeps you going and that's what's going to keep your dreams from from happening like sorry it's going to make sure your dreams do happen if you have that motivation to get there because you can make them happen with all that drive and with all that motivation. Something we all need. It's just something we all need. And just recently over the past week, I'm like, you know what? I could be, I could use myself a little refresher on how to be motivated, how to go after what you want. So that's what I'm going to talk to you today about motivation. 
it's apparent in all of our lives. I think everyone can benefit from this. So I'm going to go through some different forms of motivation. You know, a lot of it's just going to be me telling you different ways that you can motivate yourself, that you can get motivated, that you can sustain motivation, just all about it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy today's episode because honestly, writing today's episode and doing this right now motivates me. And, like, that is a form of motivation for me. It's, like, writing about something that, like, I need in my life and then getting to share it with you. That's, like, ugh, such a good feeling inside me. It motivates me just right there. And a lot of the things I'm going to be talking about with, you know, getting motivation, sustaining your motivation, it's going to be, you know, kind of universal for everybody, I think, most of it. So remember that there is different separate types of motivation for yourself, Like, not everybody gets motivated from doing what I'm doing right now. But, like, for me, it motivates me to be able to share this with you, to to be able to write and research and learn about something that I feel like I need in my life at this very, very moment, and then being able to share it with you and, and sharing my ideas about it and my research and all the things that, you know, I've kind of accumulated in just this one thing that I just thought of. Like, that is so motivating for me. It's so exciting, but... Of course, for others, it's not always going to be the thing that motivates you. Um, And if I could give you one piece of advice throughout this entire episode, it's, you know, find your one thing for you because I'm going to list you a bunch of different things that you might click and you might be like, yes, that is such a good idea. That is going to motivate me or that's going to help my motivation, um, which is great. And I want these things to really click for, for people. And I want you to be able to connect with them and be like, yes, that's such a good idea. But this, like, you know, I can never tell you what you individually, you know, should go after to motivate, like, to go after for your own motivation, if that makes sense. Like, for me, it's, like, being able to research and do these podcasts and, like, share them out loud with you. And, like, that's super exciting for me. That motivates me to, like, do more podcasts and do more writing and to, like, work at what I, you know, really want. Whereas, so find find your one thing is, like, my biggest piece of advice. Like, and it could be you might have a few things that really motivate you. Like, this is just one thing that does. But, like, waking up in the morning and, like, going to the gym really motivates me to have a good day. And it's one of the subjects I'm going to talk to you about today. But that's just something that works for me. Um, it's something that could also work for lots of other people. But, like, those are two specific things that motivates me to get my butt in gear, get going, and go after, you know, what I really, really want. But there's different forms of uh, motivation. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is called intrinsic motivation. Basically, this is the type of motivation in which you're being motivated by internal desires. So if you internally desire to lose weight and become healthier, that is the motivation from inside of you. That's, you know, your feelings and what you really want to do. Um, Then there's extrinsic motivation, which is, on the other hand, the type of motivation in which you are being motivated motivated by external desires. Duh, right? (laughs) So rather than being motivated by, you know, the need to look better in your body, feel healthier, maybe this is the motivation from a loved one, uh, your significant other, your mom, your dad, that's motivating you, you know, to slim down for your health, you know, to improve your physique so that, you know, not just for your looks, but for your health, right? And so you, other people are encouraging you, your external, you know, people around you, your environment, that's all external, right? Um, there's definitely kind of minor forms of motivation for different things, but intrinsic and extrinsic are basically two main obvious ones um but it's definitely minor forms of different kind of motivation um those are the two main categories but then kind of within those categories there's more different types of motivation you know there's your reward based motivation or your incentive motivation um so this is the type of motivation that is utilized when you um or others uh 
you know that you're going to be rewarded once a certain goal is achieved. This is the reward system. And we all have a reward system kind of engraved in our bodies um, that you could be kind of internally pulling from. But it could be a reward-based system like you are going to run this marathon and at the end you're going to win a big prize. I don't know. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like there's that reward-based motivation. I, I think it kind of describes it for itself. And then this is another interesting one that I thought I would tap in on that I think is kind of important I'm only there's so many different minor forms of motivation but there's three that I want to talk about and so that's the reward based one then there's the fear based motivation um fear really can carry negative meaning and negative energy and emotion um but fear when it comes to motivation that's not necessarily the case I don't think it really brings all this like negativity um Anyone who can set, like, a really large goal um, knows that, you know, accountability and all of that plays a huge role in following through with those goals. So when you become accountable either to someone you care about or to the general public and you create a motivation for yourself that is rooted in the fear of failure, like, fear of failure is huge. This, This fear helps you to carry out your vision. I think this is so crucial. It's true, especially when you're doing something in the eye of the public. Like I said, um, people are holding you accountable for it. You are scared to fail. You are scared to let other people down. Um, And that is going to push you to be motivated. And it can be extremely, extremely powerful. Like, I think fear-based motivation is super powerful. As long as the fear, you know, is strong enough to prevent you from quitting, prevent you from you know, taking a step back and being like, whoa, like, is this too much? And it's not even just the fear of failure. It, it can be a fear of anything that just, like, motivates you to, like, get there, to do it, to get it done because it's, like, what you really want. So I have one more uh, minor form of motivation that I'm going to share with you, but it's going to come up right after the break. Do you have any guesses? <laughs> Stay tuned. Are you tired of the same old news? Are you sick of the seemingly endless political spin and negativity? The DSMC America Still Beautiful podcast is a weekly news podcast covering all the top positive and uplifting news stories. We cover stories that will inspire, uplift, and remind you of the good in the world. Tune into the Golden State Media Concepts America Still Beautiful podcast to get all the great and positive news stories of today. Download the GSMC America Still Beautiful podcast on iTunes. Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type GSMC in the search bar. Welcome back to GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast. Hello, hello. So I don't know if you were thinking about the last minor form of motivation that I want to share with you, but if you guessed achievement-based motivation, then you are correct. I would say this is achievement-based, um, power-based motivation. Basically, do you find happiness in becoming more powerful or by creating a massive change, whether that's in your life, in the world, within your friends' lives, doesn't matter. Do you feel the motivation from being powerful, being getting that achievement, you know, that power-based motivation, uh, the achievement-based motivation, I think that's pretty self-explanatory right there. We go after something because we want to achieve it. We want to be successful. Um, whereas the power-based motivation, you know, they kind of tie one in one, like I think hand in hand, but power-based motivation is basically, you know, are you finding that happiness and becoming more powerful? Are you finding more happiness in achieving that thing that you are going after? kind of the same thing or maybe you want to create a massive change for yourself for the world for anything um it was so funny this you know I never realized that I was motivated by 
power-based motivation or like massive changes in my life but a a friend of mine uh the other day was talking to me and she goes you know what Alyssa Joe? you literally up and change your life like you do massive changes like and it's it I've never really thought of it that way but she's right I do I I I've got up and like left my hometown that I I like drastically changed my life in like a quick go I'm like, I'm going to move here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to like, and it's true. I make massive changes and I don't realize, I think that, like, I mean, I know that they're massive changes. Like I get it. But at the same time, I don't realize, or I never did realize until she kind of like called me out on it was that like, I do get motivated from massive changes in my life. So like when I moved cities by myself, when I was just like freshly 18, like that motivated me to like make money, get my own apartment, do my own thing. Like that was exciting. That motivated me. I recently just made another massive change, um, in my life. And like that motivates me even more, you know, like being in a new atmosphere and a new uh, environment, you know, drastically changing my surroundings is something that really motivates me. It's like, I'm here now. And like, I'm going to work because like, this is, I came here to work. I came here to, do my thing, achieve my goals, live my happiest life. And I didn't realize that those huge changes that I did make, have made, you know, will probably make in the future are going to continue to motivate me. That's another one of my little things that motivates me probably, you know, maybe compared to others. So that's kind of why I wanted to touch on that. Um, But motivation can come from all forms. It can come from all reasons, um, internally, externally, fear-based, reward-based, achievement, power. It doesn't matter. There's so many different forms of of motivation. Um, But if I could tell you another thing, you know, is just because you don't feel like doing it doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. Your feelings will catch up with you. The hardest part is starting the day. But once you get things going, it usually becomes a lot easier. The hardest part is leaving your house and going to the gym. It's not actually the workout at the gym. It's getting to the gym. You know, going to a job that you might not particularly like, but it's kind of a Passover or a step towards where you want to be. Getting there is like 80% of the work. And, like, I used to wake up and go to spin classes at 6 a.m., and they always started the class with telling me, you already did half the work by getting here at 6 a.m. And it's true, because the hardest part is to pull yourself out of your comfy bed and get to where you want to go. And making that decision to get up and just go, that's huge right there. And then your motivation, your feeling, you know, I I hear all the time, I just didn't feel like going to the gym. I just didn't feel like studying. I just didn't feel like reading. Stop having to feel everything. (laughs) Just do it. Nike, just do it. (laughs) Like, just get it done. The thing is, is if we can wake up and we can change our words, if you can wake up every single morning and you're like, oh, I don't want to go to work today. Oh, it's going to be so long. Uh, 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 you're dreading it compared to, yes, I got to go to work today. I'm working towards my goals. It's going to be a good day. The sun is shining. I'm going to make the most of it. Simply as changing your words can give you that motivation to keep going. Motivation is flow, okay? So there's the core, there's your support, and there's your surface. So let me let me break it down for you. So your motivation, first is the core. This is your purpose, Your purpose is what difference, like, the motivated from the demotivated. This is the difference between those people. You know, the achievers from the underachievers. And finally, the most important part is the happy from the unhappy. Your core is huge. That is your purpose. That is what you want in life. This is what you're after. You. You are after you know, to live the happiest life you've ever wanted to live. You are after to create the life you've always wanted. Um, And I think that you can sustain your core by having two things. And might be obvious, but by having meaning, by having meaning, by having a purpose, by having that core. And your meaning could be as simply as, I just want to be happy. I choose to be happy and that is my purpose. I am going to do whatever I can to be happy. The second thing is forward movement, okay? So forward movement is just what keeps you going. It's what keeps you moving. You know, motivation uh, from progress is what 
is really going to create that momentum. It's really going to give you that little pat on the back to keep moving. Um, but you got to get started. You have to get the ball rolling and put the work in to see the progress. But progress is like the main thing that's going to keep you motivated, especially you can see progress in your core beliefs, your core values of what you want. You are going to find that like that motivation is going to find you. Sorry, it is going to keep pushing you. That momentum is going to keep going. So just keep moving. Just keep swimming. Just, you know, Dory, finding Dory, finding Nemo. I guess there's a finding Dory now, too. When she's like, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And they're going through the dark little hole. And you're like, why would you keep swimming? But she's right. Just keep swimming. Just keep moving. Your motivation, that momentum is going to follow behind you. Okay? So there's core, your purpose. And now your support, your enablers. So this is what supports your goals. It's what magnifies the motivation to the core that you have. You know, what helps make, you know, good surroundings your 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 supporters your family your friends um you know that help you create good circumstances so that things can go smoothly for all your beliefs and all your you know the things that you want and then there's surface and acknowledgement so this is any type of external recognition um such as you know you gain a compliment from someone um some praise from someone you know emotional support through your encouragement feedback constructive criticism you know Maybe it's one of your friends that's going after the same goal as you. Um, you know, it's what you see on the surface when you look at other people. That's their external acknowledgement, their respect, their recognition that they are getting. And these is kind of like the three steps to motivation of flow. Core, support, surface. Or you can say purpose enablers acknowledgement. And this is kind of the flow of motivation. And, and when you're able to recognize all three of those things, it's powerful. That motivation, that momentum, it's going to get you. You're just going to keep swimming. Keep, keep swimming. So find out what's your thing. Find out what drives you. You know, why not take some time today and do a quick reflection of where you're at right now? Take one aspect of your life that you'd like to progress further in. You know, maybe it's your first job, your your current job right now, and you start with your why. Your why is huge. And I'm going to come back to more of your why, but write down your reasons for why you're in the job that you're in right now. Okay, now think about the flow, your motivation core, your purpose. What is your purpose? Write that down, you know, that's kind of within your job that gives you meaning. What are then some things, you know, that push you forward in life? You know, what is your enabler? What's your support in your workplace and your, like, that's going to get you to where you want to go? Um, and then, of course, you know, the last part of, you know, the surface the acknowledgement. How do you feel when people praise you? Or do you get compliments at this job? Uh, do you feel the emotional support through encouragement or feedback or constructive criticism? You know, really think about that. Um, once you have your your three core movement flow points, um, then it's time to really start, you know, comparing to maybe something else that you really want. Does your current job help you make progress towards your core, towards your purpose? If yes, well then, you know, are you are you truly happy? Like if yes, then then that's great. You're going after what you want. But if no, you gotta take a step back and maybe compare some other areas, some other things. So, you know, I think a good way to look at motivation is by those three steps. The core, the support, and the surface. Pick a specific aspect in your life and write down the answers to those three things within the, that aspect that you want to, you know, really focus on for your motivation and, and see where your things align. You will be surprised at kind of what comes out. Okay, <laughs> it's time for a little bit of a break. Don't go anywhere. I got more information for you. Um, I have some more tips and tricks on how to be motivated, um, how to really, you know, find that thing that's going to keep that momentum going. So stay tuned. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. Hey! The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. 
Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast. Like I said, I have more information for you. Okay, so let's jump right into it. So find out what jump, what what drives you. Find out, you know, those things. Break down a certain aspect of your life. Ask yourself the three flows of motivation. Um, see kind of where you land at there. But I got some more for you. There's something that has really always kept me motivated, um, and that's creating inspiration boards and I shouldn't just say inspiration boards. I mean, like, visuals. Um, Visually seeing my goals, seeing where I want to be, having pictures, having um, pictures that are just going to motivate me. Like, if I really want to work towards, um, you know, my dream, my dream physique, my dream health, like, all of that stuff. Maybe I'll have pictures up of people that motivate me, really strong women that are, you know... um, like, who knows? Like, it could be athletes. It could be different things. For the longest time, I was a figure skater, and I always was, like, you know, famous figure skaters really motivated me to be healthy and to work out and to feel good. Um, so maybe there's something like that for you. Um, creating visuals is huge. Um, I just think visually seeing it. So, like, write down your goals. Uh, write down where you want to be. Write down you know, specifically the things that you, you want to push for, you're ambitious for, you're working towards, um, and physically seeing those things, I think it's going to get you excited. Um, I think it's just going to kind of motivate you to keep going because you can look at your wall or look at your phone or, you know, set reminders on your phone of just simple, just keywords, just keywords that, you know, could kind of trigger you a little bit. That visual is just like, right, keep going. I have reminders on my phone like crazy. My my phone goes off. It reminds me to drink water. It reminds me to breathe. It reminds me to get up and move. It reminds me to eat properly. It Literally, I have so many reminders set up in my phone because it's just something that helps me check in. All of a sudden, my phone will go off and I'll look over and it's like, oh yeah, I need to drink more water. I should be done two liters by now or whatever the case is. And that just works for me. That motivates me. Could be different for everyone. Um, surround yourself with the right people. Of course, this is a concept and I feel like every single episode I talk about surrounding yourself with the right people is huge. Getting in the right environment that, you know, is going to motivate you. Um, if you're stuck with people that are just not motivated at all, how do you expect to be motivated? Um, a huge, huge one is educate yourself always. Education will motivate you. The more education that you get, you're going to want to use that information and progress your life towards it. The more courses you can take, classes, online, you know, in person, it doesn't matter. There is never too much education. Learn, read books, watch documentaries, you know, stop filling your brains with dramatic Netflix series, which we all love a good dramatic Netflix series. But think about it. How much are you absorbing, right? If you want to watch your dramatic Netflix series on Saturdays, do it. But put your headphones in. Listen to an educational podcast. Listen to something that's, you know, watch something that's educational because education is a huge thing to motivate you. Because once you get all this information, it's like, what am I going to do now? Like, where do I go now? Exactly. Where do you go now? It's that momentum that's going to push you, you know, to use all those materials to get you where you want to be. And that's exciting in itself. I think it is just so exciting. So motivate yourself by being educated. Um, Read things online, you know, listen to educational podcasts, watch educational shows, just 
educate, educate, educate. Um, another main, main thing is knowing who you are and what you want. Write things down. This comes with the visual again. Know where you want to be in five years. Write your goals, you know, from little to big and write them specific. Um, be very specific with yourself because the more specific you are, I think the less overwhelming it can also be too. And you can really just kind of tunnel vision into that. Be like, this is what, it, this is what I want. This is where I'm at. And you go after it. Um, the reward system never hurts and it's easy to have a reward system when you are tracking your progress and this leads to my next thing is track your progress always 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 you know especially like I think this is just an obvious example but say fitness is really you know something that you want to be motivated for if you take before and after pictures or you take a picture now and then in two weeks later and you are eating healthy working out hard two weeks later you take another picture and even if you see the smallest amount of difference that will motivate you and then you take another picture two weeks down the road and then maybe a month down the road and you you see the difference as it as it progresses as long as you know you're keeping that ambition you're keeping that focus you're gonna see the progress and that progress is what's gonna you know really really motivate you to keep going and so just remember to track it to write it down maybe have a journal um for me as something that I track a lot too um I have a whiteboard in my room and I have different symbols for for different things (laughs) so like if I worked out that day I put a check mark on so I'll like on my whiteboard I'll do like a month out on my whiteboard just like the month whatever it is it's March right now so I have a March uh layout on my whiteboard and for the days I work out, I put a check mark. For the days I drink enough water, I have another symbol. For the days that I, you know, I, I record a podcast or I, I write a blog or I, I make a YouTube video or I do something like that, I have little symbols. And that for me is like tracking my progress and like really seeing kind of, you know, where it is. And then at the end of the month, I'll take a picture of my whiteboard um, with all my little symbols on it and then I'll compare it to my last month picture where you know maybe I maybe I worked out more or maybe I drank more water or I I did more creative things and I can compare it or maybe I didn't and maybe it's like "Ah, I need to step up on my working out I need to step up on writing more whatever it is and then I'm able to visually compare that so do what works for you for me it's a whiteboard I also journal everything but track what you can and the more you track the better your mindset is going to be you're just going to look back at it and be like hell yeah I am moving forward and this is exciting um a huge thing is don't assume that money's going to motivate you it might seem like while you're going after this like job or career or something like that like and you're going to feel like once you get the money like this is going to motivate you to like keep hustling but it's not true Mo- like money doesn't mean that it's going to motivate you forever it might motivate you for a bit but don't just assume that you're going to you know get some money in your hands because you know you've worked really hard for something and that's going to keep you going because money won't keep you going um what's going to keep you going is actually being happy with what you're doing um be happy with where you're at how you're feeling going you know being happy with the goals that you're achieving or you're going after achieve that's what's going to keep you going um not the cash in your pocket uh this one's a huge one for me and that is get organized i have so many organizational tricks um my night routine my morning routine i lay everything out the night before i lay my gym clothes out i pack my backpack i you know i i usually shower and get ready at the gym i have all my hair stuff my makeup stuff my next day outfit everything packed and lined up at my door what shoes I'm gonna wear what jacket I'm gonna wear my lunch is always in the fridge and packed and okay don't get me wrong I'm making it sound like I'm just like absolute perfect every single night no but this is something that I've tried to incorporate into my night routine for quite some time I've gotten good at it where I do lay everything out and that motivates me to wake up in the morning because I when my alarm goes off and I see my gym clothes laying there taunting me you know, I'm going to be more motivated to get up and put them on and work my butt off. Lay things out. Um, make a list. Um, make lists in your phone. Uh, meal prep. If you're meal prepped and organized, if you meal prep healthy meals, you're going to be motivated to eat those healthy meals because you don't want to waste that food. Or maybe you're really working on, like, not spending money. If you meal prep everything, you're going to have that motivation to eat that food so it's not wasted and not go out to McDonald's and buy something else. 
So meal prep, um, you know, preset your reminders, your alarms, make sure your computer is organized, like all your files. You know, I've seen people where like their desktop is just like random files and I'm like, how do you know where everything is? And, and I'm just like the type I have folders in my folders and everything's lined up and organized and named properly. And I feel like that keeps me motivated because it makes me want to write more because it just makes me feel less cluttered. Like my brain's less cluttered, my life's less cluttered. So organize, clean, you know, get things sorted with how you want to, how you want them to be. Um, I think that's a huge thing with motivation. Um, this is a really big one, uh, two really big ones, I should say. Become a morning person. Um, it is actually a proven fact that people that wake up earlier do have motivation. They get more done in their day. Um, I can, I'm going to do a whole episode on becoming a morning person because it's something that I've really implemented into my life recently and it's changed everything become a morning person (laughs) um stay healthy this is another huge 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 important thing to stay motivated when we are sick when we are run down we are not motivated we want to lay down we want to curl up in our bed we don't want to get out we're tired we're sore we're we're cranky we're you know we feel gross stay healthy because when we're healthy when we drink enough water you know when we're hydrated when we're taking our vitamins when we're doing everything we can to stay healthy when we're going on walks or whatever it is that is huge and you know it might not seem huge but it is and just you know staying healthy is going to keep you motivated in itself um but with all of this you know I think it all kind of comes back to your why Remind yourself why you started, why you're going after this goal. You know, ask yourself those three questions. You know, what's your core? Um, who is supporting you? You know, what's your surface? What's the acknowledgement that you're getting? And, and how does those things motivate you in different aspects of your life? And I think you'll be able to really break it down that way. Um, just always remember that if you do fall off track, which you probably will because you're human, uh, just understand that that's okay and it doesn't mean that you're not going to get back on track and you're not going to get back to motivation because how I started this podcast I said you know motivation is not consistent it's something that we all kind of go through in life up and down sometimes we're really motivated sometimes we're not but the more consistent that you are with yourself the more motivation is going to come consistently as well so be consistent with yourself, have your night routine, have your morning routine, lay things out, be organized, you know, break things down, write things down, everything that you can do in your right mind um, to stay organized and motivated towards your goals and the life that you want to create, then I think more consistently your motivation is going to follow as well. So just keep that in mind, keep that in check in your head, um, but always understand that it's okay to fall off track. Um, It's okay because you can get right back on. And you will get right back on. You can't be motivated 110% of the time because if you were, you would be Superman and I would be concerned why you're not doing crazy other things with your life. (laughs) But for real, uh, consistency is key and then motivation will follow consistently if you can do that. Um, But just remember, be patient with yourself. Um, Falling off track is normal. Picking yourself back up is not as easy as everyone says sometimes. So if you fall off track you know, find the motivation, find the drive inside of you, you know, really break things down, journal, write things down, clear your mind, declutter your thoughts, and pick yourself back up and get back on track because, you know, that momentum is gonna, it'll catch up with you and it's gonna keep pushing you. So, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep moving. Seriously, just keep moving. It's just gonna help so much. Okay, I hope that this information motivated you. I hope you feel motivated. I hope you feel excited. I hope you feel ready to go and tackle the life that you want to create. Um, It sure makes me want to. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Alyssa Joe, and with all that being said, I'm going to go be motivated and get some more work done. Um, but please do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and follow us on social media and leave a five-star review. It's greatly appreciated. And I am motivated to write my next episode for you guys. So I can't wait. Thank you.
You've been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Life and Happiness Podcast, part of the GSMC Podcast Network. You can find the show and others like it at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Download our podcasts on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type in GSMC to find all of our shows from the GSMC Podcast Network, from sex and relationships to health and wellness, life and happiness, and even weird news. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you, and we hope you have enjoyed today's episode of the Golden State Media Concepts Life and Happiness Podcast.